What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a little bit of Pro Tools 9. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the link track and edit selection. Now what is that? That's actually linking the tracks and uh, being able to uh, click and highlight your tracks inside of the edit window. You can click right on the audio regions and the track itself will be highlighted. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So let's go ahead and take a look. Open up your Pro Tools 9 session so you can kind of follow along with me. All right, so I've got my session open here. Now, where is this button? What does this feature do? OK, this, the feature is this guy right here with these uh, like columns, horizontal columns, and the uh, vertical divide division sign or something like that, whatever that is. But it's, it's the link track and edit selection. So if we select this guy, OK? And now if we go down, say we're in our, you know, we're in our edit window and we're looking at the audio regions. If we click on them, let's click and select each one. So you can hold shift and click to select more. If you notice on the right hand side, these tracks get highlighted. So if I click on this guy, well, let's see, I'm gonna have to zoom out. I select that guy. And if I go down to this guy, these all get selected and highlighted, correct? Now, what's powerful about using that? Well, if I take this, this guy off, uh, zoom, let's zoom. If I take off the track edits, or the uh, link track selection, that won't happen. So I can select the track, and nothing gets highlighted or unhighlighted. So if I were to select, let's say, uh, one of these tracks down here. See, the bass doesn't get selected. Neither does the guitar. Um, so why would you want to use that? Well, you can quickly make groups by this, um, by just simply selecting on the track. Before, if we have it off, like it is right now, I have to go over to the left-hand side and select the track to uh, highlight it. Click and hold Shift to select them. Sometimes that's, that's a bit of a hassle if you're inside and you're editing, let's say, the drum tracks, and you're, you're, just, you're in the zone and you're inside viewing all the, uh, the tracks, you can actually make groups very quickly by selecting this guy. And then let's just click, hold, shift, and just select all the drums. Drums, 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 drums. OK, now those are all selected. And I can easily hold Apple and hit G. And that brings up groups. And I can make them all into a group. And hit OK. See, I typed out drums. Hit OK. And now I have all my drums as a group. So if we go down here, we can see drums. If I select that off, um, now the drums are not in a group. I can select one. But if they are in a group, and I turn back the groups by selecting that and highlighting it, if I click on one of the, the drum tracks, such like the kick, the entire drums get selected, such as the snare, the toms, the overheads, the cymbals, all that good stuff. Because the drums is really one instrument, but individually they're separate tracks, correct? Another useful way of using this tool is quickly selecting a bunch of tracks, and you want to view the tracks, um, the, the height of them. So let's say, you know what? I want to make all of the tracks really, really small and just blow up just the drums. So let's go ahead and take off our dr drum group, because that means once I select one track, um, they, they don't all get selected. So we all know how to create all of our tracks really, really small, right? You can just hold Option, click on the ruler on the side right here. So hold Option, and then click. And let's go to Micro. And that's going to make them super small, right? Now, like I said, if we turn on this guy, and then we back up and select each one of these while holding Shift, all of these drum tracks together. Now I can hold Shift and Option at the same time and go back to that ruler, Option and Shift, right? Hold Option and Shift, click on the ruler. Now let's make these, uh, let's make a medium. And zoom out here. Now 
all my drum tracks are a lot bigger compared to everything else. So that's just in case, you know what, I want to focus on one instrument at a time or a group of tracks at a time and really kind of take away all everything else and just squish it down because that's not what I'm focusing on currently. So those are a couple different ways of why it's so important to maybe you want to link the tracks or not link the tracks. But that is one feature inside of Pro Tools 9. So there you guys go. If you do want to view other videos about Pro Tools 9, please visit mahalo.com slash Pro Tools 9. Did I say Pro Tools 9? enough for you <laughs> well I get that from my buddy Sean anyway um, please shoot me an email if you have any other questions at requestamahalo.com as well as rate comment subscribe down below thank you guys <laughs>